Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 29th through to the uh, 4th of April. <laughs> Sorry, let's start all over again. <laughs> From March 29th through to the 4th of April. Any of you celebrating birthdays this week, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Hope you have a great week. So let's get to your reading. I already shuffled the cards, laid them all out. What's happening for Aries? First up, we have Major Arcana, the Lovers in the Upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Hanged Man, reversed. Next, we have the Four of Wands in the Upright, followed then by the Seven of Wands, Upright. And lastly, we have the Five of Pentacles, reversed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and interpret this reading for you. First of all, Aries, for your overall energy, you have that of the Gemini energy, the lovers in the upright position. <sighs> Looks like it's time to make a decision this week. There is something hanging over your head, perhaps. Maybe this has come about already, and it's just time to actually make a big decision. Maybe it's something you've been thinking about for a long time. Maybe somebody is, you know, uh, putting some pressure on you. It could be a situation like that. Like, say, for example, if you're dating two different people and maybe one of them is getting very serious and wants you to make a choice or a decision to choose, you know, obviously them. So it could be that situation for some of you. For others of you, maybe you're making a big major choice or decision about your career, what company to work for, um, whether or not to go into business with a partner, something like that. There's a major decision that Aries needs to make this week. Th maybe it has something to do with a Gemini. I'm not sure what's going on here, but there is an overall energy here of needing to make a decision. A big choice is there. It could be a make or break week for some of you. Now, coming right at the beginning of the week, we have the hangman in the reverse position. So this is indicating that you are no longer going to be stagnating. We are in Aries season now, so Aries is ready to move. The uh, hangman in the upright position is where we're just sort of stuck. Sometimes we're stuck because we're waiting on somebody else or waiting for the tide to turn, waiting for situations to change, waiting on someone else, that kind of thing. But when the card is reversed, like it is, this is a return to action. This could be that you no longer um, have the luxury of waiting or stalling if you were stalling, although I can't see Aries really stalling. Um, you guys are go-getters. You like to get things moving and get things going. So it could be right at the beginning of the week, you're uh, you're given the go-ahead. It could be on a major project. It could be about, you know, um, a new choice, maybe a place to work for or someone to work with, whatever the situation. Remember, it's just a general read, so it's different for all of you, but whatever fits. <laughs> Next card up is the Four of Wands in the upright position. This is beautiful energy, Aries. This is all about getting to that point of being able to celebrate something, the completion of something. It could not be the, you know, end-all, be-all completion of something, but it could be that you finally reached a summit. Like, say, for example, you were working on a project and maybe there was two parts to the project, but you finally accomplished at least the first part. So this is time to stop celebrate take your kudos and be happy with it for others of you this could be indicating a happy home maybe some of you have just renovated a home maybe you purchased a new home and you're about to have a big uh, housewarming party or something like that something to celebrate your accomplishment or where you've gone maybe some of you are going into business uh, with a partner maybe it's a home business it could be a uh, could be anything. Maybe you're just going to be working from home from now on and it's going to be a, a really good choice, a really good decision. Whatever it is, there's uh, an element of celebration here. For some of you, if you are choosing to be with somebody, maybe if you were dating two different people, maybe one of them has proposed and this could be an engagement party, that kind of thing, and a celebration of that or a celebration of moving in together or going into partnership together. Again, whatever fits, right? 
Then moving on towards the weekend, we have the Seven of Wands here in the upright position. This is a little bit of a defensive energy. For whatever reason, maybe something is happening, maybe something has, there's an element of some kind of completion. But it could be that you're on guard because the Seven of Wands is in the upright is when somebody is on guard about something. It could be guarding their privacy, they could be guarding their heart, they could be uh, protecting someone else, protecting themselves, protecting whatever. It's just defensive energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's coming, you know, towards you, but it could just be defensive energy. Perhaps some of you have made a decision and maybe you're concerned about how that decision is going to affect other people, maybe family members, or, you know, maybe you've left your job and you're concerned about how the people at your job are going to take it, that kind of thing. It's just defensive energy. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean anybody's coming towards you. It just means that you could be waiting for that shoe to drop because clearly you're making some kind of major decision this week. And I think it's a good move for you. It's going to put you in a good position, but it could be that you're concerned about how it's going to affect others. And the last card you have is Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. Now, the Five of Pentacles in the upright position points to, uh, it can point to, to uh, financial difficulties or, excuse me, or holding on to our finances because we're concerned that there isn't enough or perhaps there's not enough being offered here. But when the card is reversed, this can point to the Four of Pentacles in the upright, which is a card that can represent holding on to our finances in the sense that maybe we're saving. Maybe some of you are saving up some money to put into a new business. Maybe that's your decision. You could be doing something like that or putting money aside for some reason, for travel, for something. But there could be an element of needing to put money aside. You are okay in terms of your financial situation is fine. It looks like you're, you'll be recovering from what you may have thought would have been a tight week or a tight month. It looks like it's going to be fine when the Five of Pentacles is reversed. Um, like I said, it could be a, a matter of an investment. Maybe it needs you need to put some money aside or put money into something in order to advance, especially if you're investing in yourself or investing in something. But it all seems like it's very worthwhile for others of you. If there had been an abandonment issue where you abandoned someone or someone abandoned you, it could be that you see the return of this person, this group of people, this situation. Maybe some of you, it puts you a little bit, makes you feel a little bit defensive if there are people or situations returning from the past. But that's what I have for you, Aries. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.